Hello guys and welcome by this third part of the rocket launcher tutorial. In this part we're gonna create the missile and we're gonna add the engine or the fire as you can see right there. Um, the only thing is everything takes about in this part about 15 minutes so within part 3 there are going to be two parts, one modeling the rocket and one adding the the fire and the pyro cluster materials. So yeah, let's get started. Go file, new, and we're going to create a cylinder. We're going to create it more like this, so a little bit longer and a lot smaller so now we have the body we can rename that body what we are going to do now we're going to create the nose and we're going to use a sphere for that but we have to change the segments a little bit we're going to change it to 45 so we have a more smoother object now what we're going to do is we're going to the top view and we're going to create the sphere just a little bit smaller than the body itself. So about that, that's good. That there is a really small edge over. Now we're gonna add the red material to it. So I'm gonna make a red material real quickly, and I'm gonna add that to the sphere. And obviously, gonna call that nose. Uh, let's hit Control R to render it out and I don't see it come out of the cylinder so that's pretty good what we're going to do right now is we're going to just move it up so we're going to move this, uh, the sphere up to about there so it's exactly in the middle the line of the middle of the sphere is exactly on the top of the body that's pretty much what we want to have. Now what we have here is just a small sphere, a half sphere. And we want to have this as a nose. So not really a sphere, but a little more stretched out. We're going to do that by selecting a nose. So select the sphere and hit this little button. And that's converting to an editable, editable object. So we're going to click that. And what we're going to do then is we're going to hit T for scaling. And we're going to scale it up. Uh, do the Y axis and if you can see in the front view it stretches out which uh, looks like a nose so if we hit Ctrl R we have a really nice view on the nose and the body of the rocket only thing that we need to do right now is we are going to create the wings now first off I group the two objects I'm gonna call this missile body. Now actually I'm going into the front view and I'm going to drag it out of view for a second and I'm going into here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to create the wings. Well we're going to do that using splines. So select it right here. Be sure to have it on the red line. So be sure the red axis comes up with the red line. Get what I mean. Now line it up pretty good, uh, pretty good, and we're gonna make a pretty nice triangle here. And again, line it up with the red axis. That's not good. That ooh. this is good. Now select this little square here. Click on it and it will close the spline, which is pretty much what we want. But a spline is not a 3D object, we have to make it 3D. That's why we're going to extrude it. So drag the spline into the extrude nerves and call this wing 1. Once we have this wing, we're going to zoom out a little bit, select the missile body, and we're going to get it back into the center. Select wing 1, hit rotate or hit R or hit that little button. 
and we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. What we're gonna do back, uh, then is just line it up with the cylinder, with the edge of the cylinder, like that. Now move it down to the lowest point of the cylinder. So there we go. Once we have this, we're going into the top view. Oh, I forgot one thing. The extrude nerves is too big right now, so we need to change this, the 20 meters, into 3. Once we have that, we have a really nice wing over here. And we're just going to center that up into the middle. And we're using that, we're doing that using our eyes a little bit. We're going to get it a little bit more to the inside so we're sure that um, it all connects good. So we're going to copy and paste the wing and we're going to call this wing 2. And what we're going to do is we're going into the front view. We're Pulling that off right here to the edge of the other side of the body. Once we have that, we can rotate the wing 180 degrees. And again, hold shift to do it with steps of 5 so you can do it a little bit more better. Now we're going to the front view again and we're going to line it up. right there that's good and bring it in a little bit once we have those two wings can come a little bit more out like that we're going to select both wings with ctrl c ctrl v to copy and paste we have two more wings right now so in total we have four wings and we're going to call um, 1.1 1 .1. we're going to call wing 3 and 2.1 we're going to call wing 4 now select both wing 4 and wing, uh, wing 3. Now we are for rotate and hold shift again and we're going to rotate it around the green axis 90 degrees. Now and as you can see probably we have a really nice rocket with wings. It's pretty nice. So this was the, this was the first part of part 3 modeling the rocket. In the next part we will add the pyro cluster material and add fire to the bottom of the rocket right there. So click in the manual of the screen to go to the next part and we'll see you later. Bye.